Hey guys, how you doing? I'm um, here making another video. Um, you know, a lot of times when I make these videos, I don't really, sometimes I have, you know, um, an idea of what I want to talk about. Other times I just kind of wing it. But, uh, I just really wanted to share some some thoughts here and uh hopefully you know maybe something I say resonates with somebody but um you know being that we're in lockdown right now there's um you know and I talked about this with some of my previous videos about how there's really a lack of distractions that are that are there that are usually um, on the forefront of our experience, you know, and, you know, I was reading, I've been reading this book. I like to read a lot. Uh, the book that I'm reading right now is called a guide to investing by Robert Kiyosaki. And you, you know, he, he is uh, also the author of rich dad, poor dad, which I found to be a very influential book. And it has been for a lot of people, but one thing he said was, he gave an example about how he was speaking to a graduate school full of people that were getting their MBAs. And that he said, the one student said that his financial plan was to graduate, get a job, paying him $150,000 a year and put $25,000 aside for investing uh, uh, annually. And how Robert Kawasaki said that's, an industrialized age way of thinking and I, I really didn't understand it because I thought that that sounded like a pretty good idea but he said the real he said the real question you have to ask yourself is how can you create an asset <coughs> without buying it and when I say buying assets, I'm typically, typically talking about, you know, buying real estate or paper assets like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, EFTs, um, you know, securities like that. How can I create an asset without buying it? And I'm, I have not, obviously not figured that out yet, but what I have thought about is... um. You know, this notion of having a job, this notion of, you know, I'm 30, I'm about to be 32 years old. So, um, you know, I think a lot of people and I grew up, you know, up middle class, um, maybe slightly upper middle class. And, you know, for, for me and for a lot of people, I know it was the, the message was always, you know, go to school, study hard get a good job with good benefits um, and save your money and stay out of debt, buy a house, you know, but also what came, what comes with that is really two things that I at least was told to me that I think are very can very can very just, just, just a cancer. And um, it, it was really you just be mainstream and be a professional. And those two things have constantly been things that I've really made me sick, really disgust me, um, because it makes you feel like if I don't become a professional, if I'm not mainstream, then something must be wrong with me. Something must be, I must not be measuring up. I must, I must be defected. I must, there must be, I must have a disorder, right? Because what essentially those words are is it's trying to make you be normal and make you fit in a box. And what I, I don't, I think that what happens when you fit in a box or when you try to fit in a box that wasn't even designed by you, you 
in my own case, my thinking became very narrow. You know, it's like my, the, 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 the possibilities could only exist within this very, very, very narrowly constructed box. And that riddle will never be answered with that kind of mentality. And I, and I have a feeling like a lot of men, because this is a channel that we talk about male issues and, and that a lot of men have been, have sold themselves short, have kind of lost their luster for life because they're not out there really doing something that they give a flying fuck about. I mean, if you're selling, you know, property and casualty insurance, or if you're, you know, a tax accountant. I'm not saying there's there's nothing wrong with that. It's a needed thing. It it fulfills a purpose. It's necessary. But I think that for me at least, you know, I'm a lot more than just a job, a title, a function. You know, I'm not a fucking machine and I don't want to be a machine. I want to be I want to really experience life for all that it could be. And but but like that that fear of not measuring up to someone else's preconceived notion of what you should be can really really stifle us. And and see cuz it's not just about our parents, right? Because you know, take putting it into a red pill perspective, you know, women are socialized to only want to choose a man who is mainstream, who is a professional, who is normal, who does fit the, you know, conventional mold, who is mainstream, right? Um, and I talked about really what mainstream thinking is, is it's security based, it's herd mentality, and it's it's very mammalian. It's um it's a lower con it's a lower uh it's a it's a lower consciousness state of being in my opinion. It, it's very fear based. It's um, you know, it, it it's wanting it's 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 choosing acceptance over, you know, having the temerity of temperance really to stand out. And so I think that it, it really requires a, it, it, you know, it, I've, I've, I've just never been, I've always really strive to maintain my individuality and maintain my authenticity not only um, in my views, but in expressing my views, in expressing, you know, choosing to, to say what I think and to, to not obfuscate it for the sake of fitting in. And, you know, this notion of going along to get along, um, you know, that was very much of our, uh, of our, our parents' generation because, you know, the, the biggest thing to that generation really was to be, um, you know, a professional, successful, you know, um, an executive, you know, some sort of, you know, if, if you watch movies from the eighties, um, and you, and you look at what like the, or the nineties and you look at what, like what stereotypically was successful, like, you know, living in a certain neighborhood driving a certain car, having a certain job title, looking a certain way fitting in with certain social circles, being accepted by those social circles was, you know, the, the objective for a lot of our people, of our parents' um, generation. I'm talking, my parent, you know, I'm talking about people that are late baby boomers, you know, more of the yuppie generation, um, who are really now parenting a lot of the um, millennials and maybe some of the younger Gen Ys or, and maybe some of the older Gen Zs, and now it's it's like 
we have to we have to really look at where do we come you know part of looking at where we come from is knowing who raised us and what frame of mind those people um themselves came from and and i i think with this covid and with just the culture in general it, the covid is now giving us the the opportunity to really be introspective about this and to really re-examine what it is that we want from our lives and to try to figure out, you know, how can I create something? How can I really forge my own path? Um, but how can I really fo remain focused about that and not get sidetracked? Because if, um, if you've got one foot... You know, in A, they used to say, because I went to A for a little bit, but they said, you know, if you have one step in the bar and one step in AA, you're never going to stay sober because your mind is elsewhere. Your mind, your mind, the part of you wants to stay sober, but part of you wants to, wants to get fucked up, right? So what you really want to do is, um... And it's very hard, and I'm not, I'm, I definitely struggle with it, is to remain singularly focused, not get sidetracked. Um, and sometimes you don't know what you're, what that thing is, you, but, but you have some, some tiny little bit of an idea. And that, that, I, that tiny little bit of an idea is like a seed, and it needs to be cultivated, it needs to get good, good soil needs to get good sunlight, you know, it needs to get good water so that it can grow into a strong plant and that it has a strong foundation and that it can grow big and strong and, and be fruitful and produce produce good fruit, good good vegetables, good crops, right? But it needs to be cultivated, it needs to be tendered, tended to, it needs to be um and that's a difficult thing to do when you have influ outside influences telling you that you need to fit into a certain a, a certain certain you know box or a certain way of being and then you know the, the the fear of that also is that you know you know if you don't have certain things in place then you won't be attractive to the opposite sex but that the reality is is that And I think I think I understand celibacy now. I understand why why like monks, um, encourage their adherents to practice celibacy because it's not about. To me, it's not that sex is bad. Sex is great. I love getting laid, but that it it, it is such a powerful drive for us men that we don't. In many ways, we can get sidetracked. In many ways, we can get derailed, and in that our influence, and that our, our the decisions that we make are, are too much influenced by that, and not by our freedom. And I think I think the real thing that 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 I want to strive for is freedom, and and that's a multifaceted I, term, just in and of itself. I mean, it applies to. A wide variety of, of different things. So. I know I've thrown a lot of ideas. At you guys. But a lot of these are just like ideas that are that are running on through my own head. And, and ideas that. Um, that I want to just. You know I'd really just be interested to hear people's comments. And um experience just sh listen to like what what has helped all the, uh you guys you know transcend and what and what and what what is your idea of freedom what is that thing that you want to turn into an asset without just buying it because i think this idea of work hard save your money and then buy this like you know if you hate what you're doing or if you have absolutely zero interest in what you're doing, 
you know, there there's a part of your soul that dies if that if you choose to do that for 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 so long. Um, because I think the I think I think the price of that, aside from just the sheer suffering of that, is really the your mind gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller because what you're spending your time on is so boring in my in, in monotonous and that boring and monot mon, that that monotony and that that just boring state attracts more monotony and more boringness like it doesn't like you know it's, people try to like compartmentalize their life and I'm not so 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 sure that people are really as successful at doing that as they say they are you know like whatever you whatever you do like whatever you focus on because you're still focusing on that thing that you don't like you you know if you, so if, so if you work a job for 8 9 10 hours a day and you don't like that job i mean it seems to me that, like, if, if that is all you're focused on for those eight and ten hours is, like, that one thing you don't like, then you're going to attract more things that you don't like in your life. And, and I think I think that we have a whole, I, I think that, you know, I'll, and I'll, I'm going to leave off with this because this is what my next video, a lot of times, like, I, I know what my next video is going to be due to my first video, but... This next, I'll leave you guys with just this one thought, and that is, have you guys ever wondered, like, you know, like, you read something in history, like, you read about, like, Hitler, or you read about Stalin, or you read about Pol Pot, or, you, or just even, like, what's going on right now with COVID-19, and you read, like, what's going on with, like, like, how corrupt our government is, and the Federal Reserve, and, you know, the the New World Order, and all this, but, like, and you wonder, like, why doesn't somebody just, like stand up and just say no and fight back and 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 I and I thought I thought I was on the phone with my friend for a long period of time and I think I think I don't I don't know if I, I don't know if I'll ever have like the full answer for it but I think I have at least a very good starting point and that's what my next video is going to be about so I'll leave you guys with that thought I want you guys to think about that as well and I'll see you guys for the next video all right